Hi friends! Many of us have probably been afraid of getting arrested as a child, since many adults once saw it fit to threaten a misbehaving child with the police. Parents would often joke that they'd call the cops and their kiddo would be taken to prison. Well, neither kiddos nor adults would actually want to end up behind bars. Actually, about 90% of criminals get out of prison relatively quickly, and only those who commit some outrageous crime get sentenced to 20 to 30 years or even life in prison. However, the hero of our story did no such thing, yet he had to spend most of his life behind bars, and all due to a human whim. Joe is a Assamese macaque who didn't even know that there was a world outside of a dirty little wire cage until recently. Back in 1990, poachers shot his mom, while Joe was kept as a pet until 1991. But then Joe grew up and simply stopped being nice to his owners, so they sold him. That's when he ended up in this cramped cell, where he was used for entertainment of the kids from the slums of Bangkok. It was in this cramped cage that Joe spent his whole life, clinging to the rusty wires with his paws and looking out with his big eyes through the small holes. The shaggy prisoner lived surrounded by disgusting dirt, garbage, and waste, and hordes of rats that rummaged near his cage at night. In all this time, Joe hardly ever saw the sun because the light entered the cage only from one side. What's interesting is that some compassionate citizens brought the monkey, food, and water all the time. But it wasn't enough, and there was no way of keeping track of how much the monkey ate or drank. Thus, the animal was severely dehydrated. Joe's teeth were in poor condition, while the muscle tissue had completely atrophied. Overall, no one knows how the fate of the shaggy prisoner would have developed if the locals hadn't written a letter to some activists who immediately got involved in this issue. It's worth saying that when the volunteers arrived at the place, they gasped in horror, even despite their extensive experience. The kindest eyes looked at them from the dirty cage, and the monkey's small fingers immediately hugged the volunteer's hand. But this wasn't the end. The thing was that according to the law, the animal couldn't be taken away from its owner just like that. Moreover, finding the owner was a quest of its own. Nevertheless, the founder of the Animal Rescue Foundation, Edwin Wick, wasn't planning on giving up and went to great lengths to find Joe's owner. As it turned out later, the owner of the monkey tried to donate Joe to the Bangkok Zoo a long time ago, but they told the man that he'd have to pay $100 a month for them to take care of his pet, and he simply didn't have that kind of money. Therefore, he chose to leave the animal in confinement, where it stayed all its life. It's worth noting that an agreement with the owner was reached very quickly, and the latter signed all the documents and transferred the rights over the monkey to the volunteers. When the rescuers pulled Joe out of the small cage, he could hardly move. He simply forgot how to do it because he'd spent decades sitting in the cage, huddled into a ball. Nevertheless, Joe was a strong male and left the cage on his own, not even realizing that this was just the beginning of his journey. Edwin wrapped the poor animal in a towel and carried him to the car. And a few hours later, our hero found himself in his new home, the animal shelter. Joe didn't trust anyone at first. He was very weak. Moreover, he'd never seen other monkeys before and didn't even know that he had relatives. The first time he saw other monkeys was when he took a bath. The volunteers watched the poor fellow as his surprised eyes filled with interest and joy. Fortunately, Joe quickly recovered and began to make new friends. He also willingly made contact with people and quickly gained weight and regained strength. Two weeks later, Joe was already playing with other monkeys, was active and had a great appetite. For the first time in his life, he was able to eat as much as he wanted and fool around. Thanks to the comfortable conditions in which he'll spend the rest of his life, he will hopefully be able to forget the horrors he had to endure. Monkeys like Joe live an average of 35 years, and the team is very hopeful that he has plenty of time left to catch up on life. It is terrifying to even imagine that the poor monkey could have lived his entire life behind bars. But thank God, there are still people ready to come to the aid of unfortunate animals. Joe is doing well now, and let's hope that he will spend the rest of his days surrounded by love and care. So, that's today's story, friends. Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments. And that's all for now. See you soon. Bye.